Hey everyone, this is Darren at GoEngineer. So when it comes to the 3D Experience platform, I feel that the Bookmarks Editor is an essential application. So I want to show you a little bit about how to use that. We're just going to start here by just making a new tab. And we'll go over to the Compass and just grab a few of our apps. Now I've dragged these up to my favorites. They usually exist down below in my entire list. These are the ones I like to get to quickly. So two of the things that I want to take a look at right now is I want to look at where I store my data. And then I also want to go ahead and look at the bookmarks editor. So I'm just going to drag the app out into the uh, workspace and uh, we'll go ahead and put those in place. So we'll also use this one here called 3D Space and that's actually the uh, repository. So the bookmarks editor, you can kind of consider this uh, an organizational tool. It's like your Windows Explorer. And what it's going to allow you to do is tag things uh, into different bookmarks so that you can find them easier without having to use the search tools. So over here I have my collaborative spaces, which is the actual storage locations. And, and with this, I just want to go ahead and add a quick example here. So I'm just going to add a new collaborative space. We're going to call this space here. We'll go ahead and just call this one Darren's Home Projects. That's pretty good. You know, we'll copy and paste that description, piece of cake. So with this one here, I want to have this one not available to anybody else. Um, in this case, we're just going to keep it private. And, uh, you know, what we're actually doing on this one is, is we're going to be combining some design and some other things together. So let's just leave it that way. What that'll do is make a new collaborative space for us here. Now with that intact, what I want to do is go over and add some bookmarks to this. Now, a bookmark is more of an organizational tool. It enables you to tag files with something that can be located uh, easily later. So I'm going to go ahead and actually add a new bookmark to this. And, you know, to go ahead and add bookmarks, you can do a little right clicks there and say new bookmark. And uh, we'll just go ahead and give this thing a name. So a new bookmark in this case, um, let's just call this Coop. There it is. That looks pretty good. Okay. So we now have a bookmark there. So where these become usable is when we go to our design applications. Now, whether we're using SOLIDWORKS connected or SOLIDWORKS desktop with the connector, I want to make sure that I'm in the right collaborative space as I'm working. So up here at the top, you just simply hit the pull down menu and we're going to go over to our settings or preferences. With this area here, we can go ahead and select the collaborative space that we've just opened here. So I want to make sure that my data when I upload it is going to go into the collaborative space of my choosing. Now that said, we're going to take the data here and I can either go ahead and save it through the pull down menus or in this case here, I'm just going to right click over in my task pane area and say save. This is going to be the operation that does a, a two-fold step. It's actually going to copy it from my local drive, which is where I open the data from, and it's going to put it into my working cache. So we'll just go ahead and complete that. Now with that complete, the actual save operation that pushes the data to the platform initiates. Now here we have the opportunity to actually add the bookmark during the save process. We can do so by clicking this button here. And though we're doing a save as operation here, there's many ways to add bookmarks to data. In this case, we're actually going to select the bookmark location that we created earlier. And once I do so, um, you'll see the data that we're actually working on. And I'm just going to apply to all in this case. And that will apply the bookmark to each of these files. We'll go ahead and save that. You'll notice over here that it will save from the local data, now indicating that it's been pushed up to the 3D Experience platform. Take a look at that a little deeper. You can see that it's been pushed to the proper to collaborative space as well. Now, if we take a look back over at the platform, we can click into the proper bookmark and then we can easily see the data that's been placed there. Now, if there's data that's already been uploaded to the platform and you may have placed it into the incorrect uh, collaborative space, simply go into that collaborative space and drag and drop to the proper bookmark. In this case, I'm going to sort from the newest data to the oldest. We'll see that there was some data that I placed in the wrong folder in a previous step. Maybe I want to go ahead and add that to this bookmark as well. Drag and drop. 
And there you have it. Now at this point, if I wanted to add additional content directly to this bookmark, you can go ahead and use the toolbar to create this. Under the new bookmark, if you'd like to upload data directly, you just go ahead and click this link and select any of the files that you'd like to place on the platform. Or if you prefer, you can simply bring up a Windows Explorer window and drag and drop files from there. Documents can be placed in more than one bookmark. And you can remove data from the bookmarks by simply right-clicking and saying Remove Content, which only removes the content from the bookmark, not from the platform. Your other option is to actually do a right-click and say Delete, which is a way to permanently delete files from the 3D Experience Platform Collaborative Space. I can then securely share this data with anybody I want, and they will have focused access to the data in this particular bookmark. Now if we head back over to SOLIDWORKS for a moment, there's one more thing I'd like to show you. Over in the PLM Services task pane, we can also run other apps, not just the My Session PLM app. In this case, I'm going to go ahead and turn on the Bookmark Editor. So now with all the tags that we've added to our data, we can see the organization built directly into SOLIDWORKS as well. For more tips on this and other parts of the 3D Experience platform, please subscribe to our YouTube channel, 3D Experience Tutorials, and visit our website, GoEngineer.com, for more information on how to get a hold of us for technical support and some of the other great tools we offer, like 3D printers and scanners. I'm Darren at GoEngineer. Thanks for watching.